our gifts, right? Our rain mm -hmm. make. Can we get those instant green lights? All right. One guy that's really good at a rain mate demo, and Phil, I'd like you just to do your rain mate demo today, okay? And we want to see how you really build value and sell this rain mate, okay? And uh, so uh, Phil's going to come up here and sell this rain mate to you today, okay? Uh, to make you want it, because guess what? If they want it bad enough, all right, then they're going to work to to help uh, uh, get it, okay? So let's give Phil a round of applause. Come on, Phil. All right, so you guys know, I didn't know I was doing this. <laughs> All right. So we've done our warm up. Uh, number number four, fourth reason why I'm here is because uh, we're completely word of mouth company. And uh, I only have the book out. Uh, we're a completely word of mouth company. And, um, and um, instead of spending money on advertising dollars and, and on TVs, radios, newspapers, magazines, what we'd rather do is spend money on the people that help us out. And the way we do that is we give them gifts. And this is one of the neat gifts right here. I gotta show you this thing, this thing's awesome. So we take good old mother nature and combine it with American ingenuity to create this little rain in. And all you do is you put some water in it um, from the faucet and you turn it on. Now it's got two settings. It's got uh, one where it just comes on and then one where it actually has a nightlight too, maybe for the kids. Now, the really great thing about this is it has a little bit of white noise. A lot of people like that. And let me show you exactly how this works. What it does, it draws the dirty, dusty air in the back, puts it through the little mini rainstorm created by the funnel fan, and then fresh water washed air comes out the side. Now, um, Terry, uh, yes. do you ever step outside right after it rains? I have. It smells really good, doesn't it? It does. Absolutely. And this does the same thing inside your house without getting everything wet. All right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, the great thing is, is um, uh, Linda, is that water is also a natural deodorizer, so it's going to take on odors. Like if you have it in the kitchen, it's going to take on cooking odors. Um, I noticed you have a cat, um, so you can actually, it'll take on the cat box odors. You can put it right on top of the cat box. Um, and uh, I think you guys have some kids, right? Running around? Not for a long time. Not for a long time, but you sometimes have the grandkids we, we, over. We have the grandkids. Okay. Yeah. I saw, the, ro I saw yeah. the room when I came in set up for the kids. Sure. So um, just like me, I've got two young ones, mm -hmm. and uh, we keep one in their bathroom. i got two boys for a little yeah, boy over. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And, uh, and then, of course, it's also going to put a little bit of humidity up in the air. Now, uh, Linda, Terry, do, do either of you or does anyone in the house have any sort of asthma, allergies, or breathing problems? Well, Linda has some breathing problems from time to time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It seems like these days no one gets away from that. Isn't that the well, the nice thing about putting humidity, some moisture up in the air, is it's very healthy for our lungs. It keeps them moist inside, which is vitally important. Mm -hmm. So that's something that can definitely help you. Now, the other great thing about this Rainmate, now it's valued at $200. And... I'm not even allowed to sell these. We only sell them through our office. We'd rather give them away as gifts. Remember earlier I told you, everything I show you today, there's a way of getting it for free. There's a way to get this for free too. But uh, what I like to do is also show you some of the other things it does. Now, what happens when one person comes home sick? Well, generally, everybody gets sick. Exactly, Terry. Yeah, everyone gets sick. Well, what this is, we call it fresh air, mm -hmm. and all it takes is just one or two little drops, that's all. And you turn it on, and you smell that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it smells a little bit like a doctor's office or a hospital. Yeah, yeah. a little pressure. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's got an odor neutralizer mm -hmm. in it, which is really nice, so it's going it, so to neutralize any of those odors. Now, do you use any candles or sprays or plug-ins? Uh, yeah, we do. Oh. Mostly candles. Maybe. Candles? Oh, candles. Yeah, well, one of the top five reasons for house fires, FYI. Yeah. And then of course, we're actually burning something, so we're actually putting carbon in the air, and that's actually very harmful for us. This is completely all natural. And then the fresh air also has um, a trifling glycol in it, and that's actually a, a uh, germ killer. So it's actually gonna help sanitize the air, and it does it at the weight of air, which is really awesome. Does it kill germs? Yes, it actually kills germs. Interesting. Yeah, so we're actually, Killing the germs, so if anyone will happen to be sick or, or at all or anything like that, we're actually going to keep each other from getting sick. 
right? And passing that. Now you think about it, um, you know, most people get sick about two to three times a year in a house, and it can cost anywhere from two to three hundred dollars every time someone gets sick between lost wages, missing work, and all that business. So obviously staying staying healthy is obviously vitally important. Tough to put a price on your health, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Right. Now the next thing is, how important is a good night's sleep to you? Very. Very, yeah. Me personally, it, it is. Um, so what we can do is we can put a little bit of eucalyptus in there. Now smell that, take a deep breath. Feel that just opening up your breathing passages? Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And um, I'm sure um, for, for you, Linda, that's, that's really nice, huh? Yeah. And that's nice. You remember when we were kids, uh, your mom would put uh, good old Vicks Vapor Rub, put it on your chest. Where was the second place you'd put it? Right under right, right under your nose. You ever look at the back of the bottle? You know what it says? Do not put on face. <laughs> I know, right? It does say that. Yeah, and that's, and that's got chemicals in it and everything like this. The eucalyptus completely all natural, which is really great. So it's got a natural way of opening up your breathing passages, and it's like having a home spa. You can put this in the bathroom. Make it, Terry, you can make a nice bubble path for Linda and put that in there, and, sh and it's a cheap spot made for you to get That's to work. Okay. Good. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I've got uh, one of these. Uh, like I said, I've got a couple in my house. One of these I keep on my wife's side of the bed. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, my wife does have MS, and because of the medication she takes, she snores at night. Mm -hmm. So with the eucalyptus, it keeps her from snoring. And then, of course, then I get a good night's sleep. Not that I snore. Pretty clever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then the next thing is we can aromatize the air. Now, um, you said earlier you use candles, and usually you use candles to, to make the air smell great, sure. right? What happens once you blow, blow the candle out? Uh, actually, it smells pretty bad for a moment. Yeah, and then it, it stops just, smelling, right? It, it doesn't yeah. matter. So uh, you smell that? What does that smell like? Oh, it smells like shit. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. It's yeah. lemon. Can you smell? Uh, get it now? Yeah. All right. I know. Yeah, I'm sometimes. not close enough. Yeah, but yeah. This does a Give small room. Well, this this is going to do a small room, mm -hmm. you know, about 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. But it makes it smell really great, and I love that lemon. It's a nice, clean smell. Mm -hmm. um, and the nice thing is, I can turn this off, and you're going to smell it for almost up to two hours after, after I turn it off because it's actually aromatizing at the weight of air. Mm. I'm sure at some point in your life, uh, Linda, you've used sprays, right? You sit there and you watch as they just sink to the floor. Mm -hmm. Five minutes later, you can't smell them. And you ever look at the back of the can? Just full of chemicals and stuff like that. Okay. Completely all natural. Mm -hmm. all right. And then the nice thing is, is that if you want to change it up a little bit or you kind of get tired of the lemon, you can change the scent. Now this one's a mandarin rosewood. This one is one of my favorite. This is one of our designer ones. You smell Actually, it? I can smell it for the first time. <laughs> you smell it? Okay, yeah. yeah. Isn't that nice? No, I love that. And that was just a couple of drops. Yeah. The, the great thing is the last thing that you put in here is what you smell. So mm. you can change it to whatever you want. Now the great thing is, remember when we when I started? First thing I put in there was that sanitizer, the fresh air. Mm -hmm. We're still getting the benefits of that. It's still up in the air, sanitizing the air. So that's one of the gifts that we give. Now, um, if I say, Terry if, um, and, and Linda, if I had, say, five each of these that I gave to you, do you think you could find five people each to go and give one of these to? Oh, I yeah. think so. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> well, um, here's, that's it. Yep, good okay. job. Good. All right, let's give Phil a round of applause. Yeah. 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 Let me ask you the boy. Good right. job. Yeah. <laughs> How is your rainmate demo? Not as good as that. Could you improve <laughs> your rainmate by 10%? Mm -hmm. Okay. Based upon what you saw Phil do today. Yeah, I really Phil, I, um, I really <laughs> like your rainmate. Um, you know, you 